Hello, my name is Eric Eberhardt, and I'm a lecturer at University of Colorado at Colorado Springs, UCCS, formerly CEU Springs. Hello, wow, a lecturer at UCCS. Yes. I'm also a teacher in Colorado Springs School District 11. People learn from me, so I must set a good public example everywhere, else it reflects poorly upon the Colorado educational system as a whole. Oh my goodness, an educator of young minds as well. How exciting. Yes. I mold the minds of our children, and then when they go to college, I'm there to lecture them too. Yes, I have complete control over their minds. Bruhada. Since you are an educator, what are your thoughts regarding Proposition 60, 61, and 101? After all, the propositions are on the November 2010 ballot. This is a joke, right? These amendments would cripple public education for years leading to a perpetual cycle of poverty. James, it's time to attend Economics 101 and quit smoking Ted Haggard's toilet paper. Eric. Somehow I figured your approach to disagreement would be supported by fact and not a your tongue-in-cheek. You need to retake Economics 101, seriously. Both macro and micro. Prop 60 would restore fair, honest tax elections. Stop taxation by unelected boards. Replace some school taxes by state aid and end illegal tax hikes lacking voter approval. Prop 61 revives 1876 ban on state borrowing. Requires voter approval before local borrowing. Limits form, term, and amount of borrowing. Repays all state and local borrowing. While still, Prop 101 sets $10 car registration. Cuts automobile taxes in four years. Trims income tax rate 0.1, only if yearly tax revenue grows 6 plus. And taxes and fees, except 911, on phone, pager, cable bills. Personally, I vote a definitive yes for all three Prop 60, 61, and 101. Eric. Do you oppose Prop 60, 61, and 101 because you work for these educational institutions, or is it because you missed those days in economics? This conversation took place on Facebook, a public forum 